Jen, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2020 summer home tour. I am so excited to share today's home tour with you guys. I have been kind of going back and forth in my mind on just how I wanted to decorate this summer. I really loved the coastal decorating and all the coastal stuff, but I've also been really wanting to try out patriotic decor for summer. So patriotic is what I ended up going with. So since I just started this summer, I just have a few pieces kind of just thrown out everywhere in the house. You guys will see. I would have loved to have just gone all out, but of course, as you guys know, this will be a gradual thing that I get to add on to for the next few summers to come. But I really do love how it turned out. It feels so festive and cozy and perfect for summer. Although it's patriotic, I'm gonna leave this up all summer long. Today's actually Memorial Day, so it'll go up, you know, it'll stay up the 4th of July, everything like that probably until I decorate for fall. So with all that being said, let's go on and get started with this tour. All right, so as you come into our foyer this year, I kept it pretty simple, but I love the patriotic touches that I did do. So over here on this little foyer table, um, I just added this little flag here, this little kind of pendant banner. I got it from Hobby Lobby and it was actually about twice as long as this and I just cut it because really I didn't have a place to put something that long. So half of it's here and you'll see the other half in just a second. And then up on top of our little entryway table, I had this little tray and I put it here with this little welcome star that I found at Hobby Lobby this year. And then over here I have this little candle. I love having a candle on here. But I decided to go with a faux candle right now since I have the little wreath hanging up here. I just didn't want it to, you know, catch on fire. And then I put these little farmhouse beads kind of coming out. And then I also found this little land that I love sign also from Hobby Lobby. And then like I said up above, I already had this wreath. I think it came from TJ Maxx. But I just love the greenery, how bright it is, and then those pops of red. I just think that is so perfect for summer. You will see lots of greenery in my decor also this year. So we will come on this way towards the main living areas in the house. So right here beside our entryway table, I just have this old bench that I put here. And I have these two lanterns. I actually got them recently from Burke's Outlet and they were so cheap and I just loved them. I might actually move them up to our room when I decorate it pretty soon but for now they're just sitting here and i love them i also love candles i'm sure you guys will figure that out and then of course my little um american flag a pillow not sure where i got that i think i got it from dollar general last year so we'll come on in this way. Okay, so now we're gonna come into our living room and kitchen area. If you are not new, you will kinda know how our house has been laid out and how we had furniture so far, but I changed up our living room. It's actually pretty different, but I really like how it turned out. It makes our stone fireplace more the focal point instead of our TV, and I just love it. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. So I'm actually standing in our kitchen to show you guys what I'm talking about as far as the layout of our living room so basically I just switched our two couches I put our long couch right here and our love seat along this wall and I love how it kind of breaks up our kitchen and living room and then it gave me an opportunity to have this sofa table behind the couch right here and I love adding decor on it. I ran um, a lamp cord underneath this couch and kind of around the corners so it's just right there so you don't really see the cord much. I just love it. I love that cozy factor having lamps. I love adding in a candle back here. And I just really love how the main couch is facing the stone fireplace instead of the TV. Sorry I'm talking with my hands. That is such a bad habit. I'll try not to do that the whole tour. But anyway, that's how I kind of switched it up. So let's go in here and take a look at the decor. And then here's a look at the other side, kind of looking into our kitchen. And y'all can see kind of what I mean by how it breaks up the living room and kitchen. Anyway, I just really like it. So I don't have anything going on on the couch. I wanted to find some kind of patriotic, more, more patriotic pillows, but I didn't find any I love. So, but the Navy is kind of patriotic and then the home and cozy pillows I always have out. So there's our main couch. And then over here, 
Again, just the same pillow that I always have. Happiness is homemade. I'm so sorry for the people who have to hear, who have to hear this in every home tour, but that sign came from the at-home store, and I don't think they sell it anymore, so I'm sorry about that. But anyways, down here on our coffee table, we just have a little kind of wicker, a rattan tray, and I have the um, Homebody book, the Joanna Gaines book in here. I just went ahead and took that cover off to make it a little less busy, and I put that little napkin there, and then I did find these um, drink coasters from Hobby Lobby. They say, God bless, God bless America, Home of the Brave, I think USA, and then maybe America. But I just really love those. I love the little writing on those, and we do use them, so I just set those there with our remotes. So come into our main focal point in the house, in our living room, our fireplace, so this is another thing that I brought in here. I brought these two blue chairs that were in our sitting room. I brought those in here because since I have the longer couch on this side and the love seat here, there was, you know, a big open space there. And I just felt like it kind of balanced out the space with the two chairs here and then the bigger couch on this side i hope that makes sense i think it looks really good and i do love it and i love the pops of blue in here i might eventually change out those chairs but for now it works especially with my patriotic decor going on right now so i just put a few pillows on both of those chairs that's actually a christmas blanket back there but i just wanted a pop of red and i was just kind of using what i had this year so it works good enough and then that ladder back there, my husband builds all sorts of wooden things. So he built that. You'll see lots of stuff that he built throughout this home tour. And then up here, I just kept it pretty simple. I already had these barn doors. They came from Hobby Lobby and I love leaving those there in the summertime to just kind of cover up our fireplace. Over here is this little wreath and this little wreath holder that I got back at Christmas time from Walmart. And then on the other side of the hearth here is just a little, actually a tall pitcher with the greenery in it that always stays that way. And I just bought a few packs of these American flags and I kind of stuck them everywhere. That's a cheap way to make your house seem patriotic. And then up here on my mantle, again, I just stuck a little flag over here in this um, floral piece that I usually have up here. I have it up there a lot of time. And then on my window, I have the other piece of that banner that I cut and I just taped it up there and put that home sweet home sign in front of it. And I think that looks really cute. And then I just have a couple candle pillars over here and that's it. Simple mantle, but I think it's cute and fun and festive. And then again, another little blue chair on this side and a side table with just a lamp, some greenery. And this little star I normally put out around Christmas time, but I thought that was pretty perfect for patriotic decor. And I love the ambiance that it gives off, the coziness, the cozy vibes. So I just set it here and I like it. Now we'll come out here to the little sofa table. Like I said, I just ran a cord all the way around there. Put another lamp over here. I have some more books that I just removed the cover, some books that I already had. And then I put this little greenery up here. This actually another Christmas piece, but how perfect for patriotic again. Then I just set a little clock here and this little galvanized lantern with a red candle in there. Again, more Christmas decor. So sometimes you just gotta think out of the box, get creative and use what you have. And it actually turns out pretty cute, I think. And then as far as the bottom of this little table, I just have a basket here. Normally we have some blankets and pillows in there, but we don't right now. And I just put this bird cage down there. It doesn't have anything in it except a greenery ball right now. But that's what that looks like. And that's what a little overview of our living room looks like. All right, so now we're looking in our kitchen and our dining room area. So we'll go into the kitchen first and I'll show y'all what we've done in here for the summer. So one thing that may be different from my last tour, I did have a little table right here, but I took it out. It was just kind of getting on my nerves, <laughs> but 
I do still like these shelves that we hung here. So this is kind of my little, I don't know, lemonade um, station. I had a lot more lemons last year, but I just didn't want to do the same thing again this year. So um, I just put this little camper cookie jar here. We do camp. So I thought that was just kind of perfect to have out for summer. And then a little Hello Sunshine sign that came from Walmart last year. And then up here I have a little windmill. Some more little lemons that came from Walmart. I have this little candle. Um, it did have a lemon candle in it that smelled so good. But since it was burned up, I just stuck some greenery in there. And a little flag. And I thought that looked really cute. And then up top I have a lemonade sign that came from Tuesday morning last year. So I just love this little shelf. It looks like and feels like a little, I don't know, a little general store to me. So on our kitchen island here, I just put out some plates and napkins that I actually got from the Dollar Tree. We are gonna grill out later, so I just thought I would sit those out to be festive. And then I got these red, white, and blue cookies. My kids love them and they have been begging me for one ever since they saw me bring them into the house but I thought they were so cute, so I just thought I would sit those out in my little cake stand. And then above our island, we have these two lanterns here. Um, I just wanted to mention them in this video. We have a whole video on how we did this. These only cost about $75 to put up there, super cheap, and we love how they turned out. Um, we did not get the builder to put any pendant lights over our island when we built this house. And so we wanted to add some and we wanted to add some for not a lot of money so we did so anyway i'll link that video on how we did these below if you want to see that and then over here i did do a little bit actually i did a little bit more than i normally do in the kitchen um that farmer's market sign up top of course i just left that there we'll come over here i'll show y'all what i did on the fridge first of all so I have this picnic basket. It's a vintage picnic basket and I just love it, especially in the summer, especially the inside. I love that it's red and white in there. So all I did this year was just added some greenery to it. And then I had that white metal star. I stuck that in there. And then I thought, what better thing than to go with a picnic than some drinks. <laughs> so I had this kind of vintage looking crate that actually came from Hobby Lobby. But then those old vintage sun drop bottles are real. Um, my parents had a bunch of old drink crates and drink bottles and I asked if I could have some and they let me. So I just thought that looked so cute up there, ready for a summertime picnic. And then over our microwave, I just have another greenery wreath. And I always get questions on how I hang that. And all it is is a command hook. All you have to do is put it on one side of the door just make sure you open the side that it's hanging on first and that's it. And then down here, I just put this little um, red and white towel back here on my little towel ladder that came from Kirkland's. I did get this home sweet home sign from Hobby Lobby this year. And then as far as my noodle board, we have some fresh baked goods and coffee waiting on you underneath my sweet tea sign. I'm just kidding y'all. These are actually faux muffins that I got from Amazon. I'll try to link these and by the way, I'll try to link anything that I can or that I talk about in the description box below this video. So if you like anything I'm talking about, check down there first. And then I put this little um, cowboy, cowboy, coffee percolator. I think that's what it's called. I said cowboy because Darren and my stepdad, they make cowboy coffee in these antique um, coffee pots. So I just set that there. I love the color of it. I thought it went perfectly with my patriotic stuff. And it just looks like, you know, welcoming. Just like, come on, have a treat, have some coffee. That sweet tea sign came from Hobby Lobby, I think last year or maybe the year before. And then I got this little strawberry uh, strainer from an antique store. And I just thought it was cute to put a little candle in. I just have that sign hanging up there on a little tiny nail. And then coming on this way underneath our cabinets, I just got this little, I think I got this from TJ Maxx, maybe Hobby Lobby last year. And I put some faux strawberries in there. They look so real. Those came from Hobby Lobby too. And of course, my Magnolia Table cookbook. 
it's just on an old stand i had a few questions about that i have no clue where that little stand came from but i'm pretty sure you can get those at hobby lobby and then i really like this i found this year so i got this little tray from the target dollar spot this year and i think they had another one that was white and then it had um like a blue you know edge or wire around it but i just really liked it i love the size of it it wasn't too big and you can only add a few little things so it doesn't feel too busy but anyways i just added a few ray dunn pieces in there i have a little old timey little scoop i just stuck in there some greenery again another little flag and then i found these little red and blue star straws at dollar tree for a dollar a pack so i love those i just put those in there and of course, our coffee pot. Can y'all believe I actually sold my USA Ray Dunn mug last year? So I couldn't put that out, but I just put the blessed one there instead. So all I did in my produce scale up here, I love decorating it for the seasons, but I loved what I did for spring with all the little wispy kind of branches. There go, talk with my hands again, y'all. I'm so sorry. I just feel like y'all are my friends and y'all are here with me and I'm just showing y'all my house. So I'm using my hand. Anyway, I loved how it was for spring. So I just left it, but I stuck some of those red flowers in there just to kind of bring everything together. And I actually did that last year and I loved it. So I just left it. And then I have our sugars down here. You will notice, yes, we are missing a lid. Um, my daughters, my oldest daughter especially, has been loving to bake with me. And, you know, things happen. I just got to get a new lid or maybe a whole new container. For now, we have some saran wrap. So, it's all good. Anyway over here i love this little area this year so coming over here this is probably my new favorite little area that i have over here um darren actually built this little wooden pedestal or wooden riser and i'll talk more about this in just a second at the end of this video if you would like to get one of your own just stay tuned for that so then up on top of here i found this cute little wooden house from hobby lobby and then I love these little vintage little kids right here. It says three cheers for the red, white, and blue. Just love that. And then I have a blueberry pie candle that smells so good from Bath and Body Works just sitting on top of here. This is probably my favorite little area. I have no idea why, mainly because of that pedestal. Darren is so talented, he can just build anything, but I just love how that's decorated. All right, so now let's go on in to my dining room. All right, so coming in to our dining room, Darren and I refinished this table also a few months ago, and I do have a video on that as well. If you're wondering how to refinish a table, we completely sanded down the top. We painted the chairs. The bottom is a white color like that, and it turned out awesome. So I also have that video below if you want to check that out. As far as my tablescape, obviously I kept it very, very simple this year. This is something that I'm sure I'll add to next year or in the years to come. But I did buy these little chargers from Hobby Lobby this year. I loved the galvanized look and how they had the little stars on them. And then I ended up putting a burlap charger under it. I just thought it looked, I don't know, it just gave it some more texture with that under there. And then I just put some white plates on top for now also got this blue star table runner from hobby lobby this year and then for my centerpiece we have another one of those little wooden risers absolutely love it so darren made that and stained it and i painted it and distressed it and i love how it turned out and then on top i just put that amazing grace little sign and some greenery kept it real real simple we do eat in here but it looks festive and cute all right, so coming over here to this little hutch, I did paint it, gosh, a couple years ago, I think now. But anyways, on top, I have this vintage Coca-Cola little drink crate that I just love. Another one of those things that came from my parents' house. And so up on top, I have a couple little Ray Dunn pieces, and again, some greenery and a, an American flag up there. As far as inside the hutch, I kind of kept it pretty simple, kind of going with that just summer, kind of 
farmer's market, general store type feel. So I have some plates in there. I have some vintage kitchen tools back there. And of course, can't go wrong with a mason jar. And then down here on this shelf, I put some more plates. Some more of these, or not some more, some of these Rada and little fruit, um, fruit baskets. And then I had this little vase thing. And so I stuck some little sparklers in there. Thought how perfect for patriotic and summer decor. So the kids don't know they're in there. So I'm wondering how long it's gonna take them to notice that, <laughs> or even if they do notice it. And then I just hung this little kind of wreath over here on the door. And then inside this year, I decided to keep one of the doors shut and I took this wire basket that came from Dollar General. It has my cookbooks in it, but I thought it was so cute turned this way so you can see that little copper handle on there and you can see the front of that book. And then over here on this side, I have a little um, galvanized cake stand with some more of those faux muffins. And then I have my little copper ladle in there that was actually from a chili cook-off that I got third place in last fall. I'm super proud of that. So just had that kind of displayed there with everything. And then down here, I thought it would be so fun to kind of display our little homemade ice cream maker that Darren just got, I don't know, a couple months ago, but we have been using it. And I just love the front of it, how it kind of looks vintage-ish and old fashioned. So I just set it here on this pedestal. <laughs> Darren didn't make this one. I got it a few years back. But anyway, I just stuck a little vase in there with greenery. Again, another American flag. And then I just draped this little lemon towel that came from the Dollar Tree on the side of it. And of course, nothing is actually, you know, made in that bucket part. You stick another like part in there that the ice cream is made in. So I don't have to worry about it being dirty or anything like that. The only thing that goes in this part is ice. So I just thought how fun would that be to decorate with? And then when we go to use it, it's super simple just to grab from over here. So just thought I would display that for the summertime. Now we're going to go from my kitchen into the mudroom. Not a whole ton going on in here. I did move this little hutch that I painted. <laughs> Sorry, children are playing. Sounds of summer. There you go. Um, I did paint this hutch a few years ago, but I just actually distressed it not too long ago. I love it. I love distressed stuff, but I put it in here for now. It, can, it holds our shoes. We decided to put like our flip-flops and tennis shoes in there. It's perfect for that. Perfect thing to hide all those things in the mudroom. And then over on this side, we have a little bench. And I got this chalkboard from Ross, I think, a few months back. And of course, it has another wreath hanging on there. And I just stuck another American flag in there. And then I just put this buffalo check pillow in here. And a cute little summer floppy hat. Just thought that looked super cute. Just ready to go, ready to throw on and go out wherever you want to go. And I wanted to mention something, one little tip that I had, this pillow kept sliding down. It would not stay up how I wanted it. <laughs> so I got Darren to put a little piece of Velcro down there and then another one on this pillow. So now it can sit there and it won't go anywhere. So that's that. That's our cute little mudroom. There's walking into our kitchen and nothing else going on in here. This is just our half bath on this side. And then that's just our cleaning closet and all that good stuff in there. Okay, so if you're interested in these little wooden risers or farmhouse pedestals, you can email me, not email me, you can message me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Cook, Clean, and Repeat. It's super easy to find. Just send me a message over there and I can get you one of these. This size here is 12 inches long, right? Yep. 12 inches long, seven inches wide. Seven and a half inches wide and six inches tall. like six inches tall. So this is the size we're going to start out with. It's $25 plus shipping. Um, we can do it dark stained like this. We also have a honey stain or we can do the white, which is over here on this table. I'll bring you guys back over here and show you real quick. We can do the white with a distressing or not distressed or we can paint it a color, um, pretty much any color. I have tons of things to choose from. So if you're interested in one of these, like I said, just message me. They're $25 and we will get those made. Plus or, yes, plus shipping. 
So yeah, if you want to get one of those little farmhouse risers from us, just message me on Facebook. We really hope to start being able to sell other things that he makes. We've had so many people ask over the years, so he finally started and we know these are a big hit. I love them. So yeah, $25 plus shipping. Hopefully we'll have more sizes and things like that to come. I'll probably just make a post on my Facebook page about them so that way it'll be easy to find. But anyway, um, if you do want to order one, I did want to say it'll probably be about three weeks until they ship because we obviously have to make them. We're also going on vacation in the next few weeks. So that's why it'll just be about three weeks until they ship. Just wanted to make you guys aware of that if you do want to order one. But anyway, that's the info on those. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them below or message me on Facebook. So that's going to be it for today's home tour and today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for stopping back by on my channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has been with me for so long. You guys are seriously the best. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button before you go. I hope you all have an amazing summer and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.